Hello again. I have returned. Oh. Jesus. I have returned to the screaming tunnel. As you remember, I was here back in the winter. It was cold, slightly windy. I was sort of stumbly. Uh, once again, I have some wooden matches. Uh, there looks like to be some fresh graffiti that just got spray painted here because I don't remember that graffiti. Uh, I'm here with, what are you again, Allison? Paranormal Investigators. She's somewhere on Facebook. Um, yeah, like I said, once again, I'm in the Screaming Tunnel. Uh, I've already mentioned more about the story, the folklore, uh, about the young girl that was involved in a very messy custody battle uh, with her parents. And this is sort of where the folklore sort of gets a little bit on the muddy side. Uh, because her, parent, her parents were in a very messy custody battle for her, uh, she basically ran away. Um, she ended up dying right in this tunnel. So the story goes, uh, as far as it goes, she was either doused in kerosene by her dad and set on fire, or she set herself on fire. Um, but again, um, that's sort of one of the consistent stories regarding it. Uh, this is where it's going to get tricky because I'm at this moment just a one-man per show with my cell phone and these matches. This is similar to like last winter when, now you just saw the matches. Um, last winter when I was here um, uh, with trying to get this lit up. Um, this is the kind of thing I kind of wish, there is two of us here, uh, but uh, my cohort, she's setting up her equipment as we speak. So she's kind of doing her thing. I'm trying to do my own thing here uh, with both cell phone and matches. Um, I think I've managed to figure out how to do this. If it looks grainy while I'm uploading this, uh, bear with me. It is what it is, so c'est la vie. Okay, I'm actually surprised the flame managed to maintain itself for a little bit. Are you all set up there, Allison? Well, no, um, as I got in here, I was hearing some, uh, some confusion and um, it just put my bag down. Um, I couldn't open my bag and uh, I just opened my bag there and uh, Are you okay though? Uh, I think so. I'm just gonna get my stuff up. Okay. Okay, one second. Oh. All right. While well, oh. she's. And also, I can't breathe. I cannot breathe. Did I say that? I'm not sure I said that. Uh, I think you did. Okay. Uh, so I'm just gonna get a uh, get my devices out. Okay. While you do that, I'll just uh, play around with the matches I have here. All right, you know what, and it's weird because uh, I felt like I had to take my camera out, out of my camera bag. Yeah. But my camera's already here. Like, my camera's like already here. Okay. But I felt like I had to get my camera out, but I already got my camera out. This is really weird, I feel really confused. Okay. Okay, sorry. Yeah, as, as you can see, we're just sort of dealing with some minor issues of confusion. Um, I believe this is right where I'm standing, kind of like the halfway point of the tunnel. There is a little bit of wind going through the tunnel. Now for the layman, Ooh. now for the layman and uh, that don't know much about this, explain what this is about. My uh, e EMF, I call it my EVP because I'm confused. The EVP is for sound, like if I pick up any sound. Uh, and this is the EMF. The EMF is, uh, picks up um, like electric, like we're made out of energy. Okay. Um, and this is an EMF, which is to pick up any, any electric. 
electric, uh, electricity. Um, I just put the, this flashlight on just to see if I can see anything, because we're in a tunnel. But uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna walk up and down the tunnel with the EMF, uh, see if I can pick up any, any um, electricity. Uh, and, uh, and if it goes like, like this, Actually, it's supposed to go, there we go. It's supposed to go da 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 da, da. And it was only going da da, which is weird. Huh. Uh, anyways, so I'm gonna walk up and down. Sure. Um, so I'm gonna put the camera so you can see me walk up and down. Sure. Uh, and then uh, see if I can pick up anything at all. I'll say that one thing for sure is you have better shoes than I do. Uh, yeah, these are really good. Uh, from work. I used to work at Smash Club, and uh, they closed, unfortunately. So let's do the front part. All right. Walk up the front part. Let's see, I'm Maybe sort of in the center of things here. So, um, like I said, I'm gonna try this one more time with the match thing, just to see where it goes. As long as I don't burn my fingers. So we'll start at the beginning here. That match did not want to light, so it was one big jerk. Yeah, and if you see anything in the video that you're wondering about, just send me a private message with a screen cap. Um, someone that follows me on Instagram did that. Um, I'd like to probably play it back later just for myself, just to sort of get a better looks of it. Okay, that match has some staying power. Not a heck of a lot. Yeah, and in case you're wondering, the EMF thing, it's not the band, which would be unbelievable, uh, but. Little bit of staying power for this one. But like I said, there is just a little bit of wind. Are we in the center of the, of the tunnel? Uh, yes. Okay. Anything at all, Allison, from your end? Nothing, but that's just the EMF. We've got uh, other device to do. What's the other device? Uh, you know, the phone. Oh, that device. That went out a little quicker than most. Yeah, and yeah, one thing about as far as pop culture goes regarding the Screaming Tunnel, uh, Cronenberg shot the dead zone here, so like 20, 30-ish years ago, so might be worth watching uh, when I get home if I'm still awake after all this. That went out, yeah, that went out pretty, pretty good. How are we doing over there, Allison? Good. Anything catching the eye? Okay, um, I'm gonna step out of the tunnel for a bit, but I will come back here again just to light it up. At this moment, we're just gonna follow this tunnel down just to see what Allison sort of found. Um, yeah, it's a bit of some pretty tough terrain here, uh, that I can tell you. So it's just, if you're gonna come here, um, I can honestly